Hi everyone, I'm Janelle of Tunes Unlimited and this is just a very quick video um, in regards to a, fo a forum post where his customer is trying to get a specific color for the character. And um, the easiest way to do this, let me, let me bring up a fresh screen real quick. The easiest way to do this is to just go into an application that will allow you to export in SWF format and make a simple square. You're going to make a simple square and we're going to color it to the exact specifications that the person wants. So in this case, the person wants 23 red, 57 green, and 112 blue. So this is this color he wants. Let me just get rid of the, um, the black outline. This is the color he wants. You can simply go ahead and export this. And, and some people, I used to do it with some of my characters. Um, I haven't done it so much recently, but I would create a color palette. You're basically creating a color palette. But I'm going to go ahead and export this and just say, I'll save this to the desktop. I'm just going to call it Special Blue. Now I'm going to bring up um, Crazy Talk Animator 3. Some other screen. Okay, so we're in Crazy Talk Animator 3. And real quick, I'm just going to go to my desktop where I can find that particular um, file that I saved. Here we go. So Special Blue, I'm just going to go ahead and drag it on to the stage. So now I have this color that I want. Now this only works for people who have the pipeline or the pro version because you have to go into um, composer mode and you have to give this a, a file grouping. So here I am in composer mode and I am trying to wait for this blue to flash. I'm not sure why I have so many options considering that it was just one single square, but just for, for, um, tutorial purposes, I'm going to label this under custom seven and hit apply. And now I can go out now because I now have this tag, I could then pull up a character. Let me bring up my content menu manager. Um, let's just bring in a regular G2 character that we're all familiar with. Okay, we're bringing Walter. Now, if I wanted to change Walter's shirt to this kind of blue, I simply need to first tag it with the custom seven um, tag for the vector grouping. So I'm going to take him into composer mode as well. And I'm going to go to his shirt and find out what the shirt is labeled. The shirt is currently labeled upper one. I'm going to change that to be custom seven. Now, since part of his shirt is his arms as well, I'm going to go back to the scene manager, grab his arms and everything that's upper one, I'm going to make custom seven. And I believe his forearm, yeah, his forearm have a little bit of the shirt as well. 
So we're going to go ahead and change that. Once again, when you're when you're changing colors, always make sure select same color is um, checked because it's going to find that exact same color in all of the sprites and make all of the changes at, at once. So. OK, so now that we have everything for the shirt that we want tagged to change the color, I'm going to go back out and I'm going to pick my square and up top here is a little paintbrush and it says apply selected render style. We're going to select that and we're going to hit it on Walter and now Walter shirt is the exact blue that I want. When there's a situation where you need a particular color to be um, applied to your character or prop, that is the best way to do it. Simply get all of the colors you need, create a palette, and start tagging those colors to what you want them to be. Then you can go to the character, and once again, tag the character um, to match the colors you want. So if it's, if it's on Custom 7, tag whatever character, shirt, pants, um, what have you, to that, to that color, to that um, vector grouping um, number, assign it that same number. Then from there, simply use the paintbrush tool and um, you'll be able to achieve that exact same color. So hopefully this resolves anyone issues who have gotten a little frustrated with trying to get a particular co color and um, they play around with the, um, the color table, the color wheel, so to speak here and they just can't get the color to match the way they want to this is how you do it hope it helps take care thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week if you would like to purchase my product head over to my store for characters props and scenes if you enjoyed this video, here is a link to another video you might like from this channel. Thanks for joining and take care.